Hey guys, so I just kind of wanted to, I guess because this is technically like my second video for this channel, wanted to tell kind of like my pregnancy uh, test stories because I know a lot of women, if you are like me and you're trying to conceive, whether it's your first baby or your second or, you know, after a loss, after a miscarriage, you know, all Whatever it may be, you might be like me and you watch all these videos to try and see how early you can test and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, if you're also like me, sometimes you don't, no matter how good the test is, you don't test early. Like, it won't pick up and so you get a little bit discouraged and think you're not pregnant and all that kind of stuff. And so I just kind of wanted to share my story. Um, I have three babies in heaven and no children on earth and we are trying to have a baby on earth. But my first pregnancy test story um, was actually at a doctor's office when I was getting my birth control put in my arm. I um, was a good two weeks pregnant, close to almost being three weeks, um, or you know, just like good in the two week area. Um, over one week, and I took a P test, and it came out negative, so we're like, okay, we're good to go to put the birth control in your arm. We put it in my arm. I started having really bad symptoms. Was thinking I was just having, like, some bad reaction to the birth control, because I am really sensitive to the hormones in all birth controls, and which, I mean, I guess I don't know if I'm sensitive to that one, because I was actually pregnant and having pregnancy symptoms, so I don't really know. But, so, you know, it came out negative, I got up in my arm, all that kind of stuff, and then when I started having really bad symptoms, and I kept going to the doctor, and, you know, figuring out, you know, kept coming up negative for, like, these diseases and viruses and stuff, um, my mom finally was like, just please take a pregnancy test, and I took one, and it was a blue dye one, but I was also, like, five to six weeks, it instantly came up, a big fat positive, and so that was a, that's a whole interesting story in itself, I tried to record that whole story, but it ended up being, like, I wasn't even like halfway done and I was already at like 11 minutes so that's another story in itself and then um with my most recent miscarriage and the reason why I was kind of crazy was because I took a test and it was a blue dye and I was like I swear I see a faint line and I like sent it to my sister-in-law she's like you she's like ah, I'm pretty sure I see a line you need to go get a pink dye test so I got, a pink, I got a pink dye test, I took a test that night, saw a faint line, took one the next morning, and saw another faint line, I was like, this is like so for real. So I went and I bought a digital test, and it said that I was pregnant one to two weeks, which was crazy because with my first baby, I didn't show up positive. And so that just kind of like goes to show you like every person and every preg and even every pregnancy is different, you know? I'm kind of thinking that maybe like once you start having babies, it might show up sooner. I'm not really sure. Like I'm wondering if because I'd never had babies, that's well, that wouldn't make any sense. So what did I don't know. But so you know, everyone's different and you know, sometimes some people are lucky and they get to have early tests. I am praying that I get to have another early test um, because I want to know as soon as possible, which I'm already doing things to like making sure I take lots of vitamins and that sort of thing and trying to keep hydrated and drinking the amount of water I'm supposed to and exercising, uh, which is really hard to stay motivated to exercise with. Um, you know, recently experiencing three losses, so that's really hard, but, you know, I'm trying my best, I'm doing what I can, and I'm just, I'm really hoping I can get another early pregnancy, if not, I bought a huge pack of, um, cheapies off of online pregnancy test, and that, I'm just gonna, like, keep taking them until, you know, it's, like, good, you know, I think once you hit like 18 DPO, you probably should be getting, if you're pregnant, you probably should be getting a positive pregnancy test. So I'm just going to keep taking those until, you know, I can say whether I actually am pregnant or not. And, 
you know, I hope this video encourages you. And, you know, if you're taking tests and you're like 8, 9, 10 DBO and you're not going to positive and, you know, you're really starting to worry, like, don't worry. You know, they say you need to wait technically at least till 14 DPO because that's like two weeks. That's when you're like supposed to be having your miscarriage. Miscarriage. Oh my goodness. Your missed period. You can see what's on my mind. Um, so yeah. Oh my god. My cat is trying to say hello. But anyways, I really hope that this video encourages you and just helps you to not feel bad if you're not getting big fat positives that you're wanting and even if you aren't pregnant it's you know it's all in God's timing and it will happen you will get that big fat positive and I just play I cannot speak today I just pray blessings upon you many many blessings and I hope you have a great day and God bless